God has no religion, to quote from Mahatma Gandhi. I read 20% of the Bible and I read the Quran. And although there are some absolute truths to be found in the holy books, I do not spread religion. I do not promote belief, nor do I promote believing me or what people like Alan Watts may say. Because beliefs will always remain beliefs. They create the illusion of truth. And I do not wish to live in illusions any longer. I've done that for way too long. And if you're new here, the best way to describe what I do is basically, well, one part of it is unpacking, discovering these illusions that I've lived in for so long. By the way, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, started making videos on YouTube in 2012 and did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, only to realize that these things don't matter. What really matters to me is finding out the truths about my own life's problems, questions, existence here on earth. But when I share them, never believe them. Faith is above all, an act of trust in the unknown. That's a quote from Alan Watts. And religion has nothing to do with God to the majority of believers. And this is true, but only if you're able to see it, if you're able to look at yourself honestly. I'm not saying you specifically, but if most people, most believers were able to do that, to be self-honest and look why they believe, to most of them, it has nothing to do with God, but everything to do with themselves. Well, I mean, look at their prayers. Look at the prayers of almost everyone, very self-centered, isn't it? And I'm not saying this is bad, I'm just stating the truth here, which is very easily confused. To the vast majority of people, their religion has everything to do with decades of conditioning. After all, most people will believe, grew up in religion, right? Not everyone, but most people. And they have been conditioned their whole life with anything that has to do with their religion. Again, this is not bad. And of course, another big thing, is the feelings they get from being religious. A feeling of comfort, security. And I'm not saying these feelings are not true because how can your feelings be untrue? You feel them after all. What I am saying is that they are an illusion. And right now I assume religious people are watching and they're very cautious to what they hear, which is good because you should not for one second believe my words nor anyone else. And your mind probably says, how can the things Jordan tells me in this video has said so far and will continue to say not be believed? How can his words not be believed for himself? To that I would say, who do you think gets closer to the truth? The one who looks for it or the one who subscribes to a religion for ulterior motives? Comfort, connection, brotherhood, fear of being an outcast, especially and if you grew up in a family who's religious. The clarity it gives you, the structure it gives you and the praying and the rituals, etc. The friends you made, the connection, the love you may feel. Who do you think gets closer to the truth? Honestly, the one or in general people who think for themselves or the ones who listen to others and believe the words, for example, in the holy books to be true or better said, unconsciously try to find facts, reasons for them to be true, to feel true. You see what I mean here? This is something that I've done a lot and it's very easy. You can be very tricked by your own mind. And if you wish to continue to watch, please do so with a closed heart. Watch with cautious eyes and listen with cautious ears. Question the words as you hear them, because this is what I wish I would have done earlier. This is what moves you away from the land of belief into the land of truth. So what is the truth about religions? By the way, I do not make any difference between religions. I talk about the concept of religion that you see in the majority of society, at least the one that I've seen regardless of country or culture. I talk about 99% of religious people. If your mind is telling you right now, well, I'm one of those that is not the one he describes, then, well, you may be. I don't say you aren't, but it's very unlikely because not a lot of people watch my videos yet. So what is the truth about religions? Religion teach you to believe, and it is beliefs that are never the truth. Now, what is the truth, you may ask? Well, I can't tell you. You feel it when you hear it. Reminds me of a quote from Jiru Krishnamurti. It is truth that liberates, not your efforts to be free. And religion is a set of beliefs, rituals, practices, the worship of a higher power or supernatural being. And if you are religious, you may ask yourself, why am I religious? I can't answer that for someone. So I want to explore the question, why are most people religious? Is it because religion provides them a sense of identity, connection or community they long for? Is it because they seek to find answers to fundamental questions in life about the meaning of life and that the religion provides them with clarity? They look for it, a framework, so to speak, of understanding the world around them. Or do they fear the opposite, the fear of losing the connection they have with their friends, family, other people that are religious? Or even worse, to be 
an outcast to all of their inner circles? Is it because they fear to be led astray? And the so-called consequences that you may be heard in your religion about the evil path? Or does it provide structure to their life? The praying, the worshipping, the rituals, the celebrations, and even the sacrifices? Or do they feel a sense of superiority to non-believers or to people with a different religion, to those who believe in the wrong God, the wrong thing? Or does it give them meaning in life, a feeling of satisfaction that time is well spent, or all of those things? Again, I'm not here to give you an answer for that would create another belief and beliefs have serious consequences brings me to a quote from jiro krishnamurti the ability to observe without evaluating is the highest form of intelligence so if i believe that someone who came here in this forest told me that they came in this forest before and gave me a map and told me you should go there and i follow the route but in the end the person has never walked this forest then i would find myself lost after all right this is just a very tiny example of why you shouldn't believe anything that anyone else tells you because you could end up lost. And could it be that most people don't even know where they want to go in life and therefore find clarity in the prescribed destiny of many religions? You may ask this for yourself if you are religious, but I want to talk more about beliefs. What are beliefs? Aren't beliefs just thoughts reinforced by repeated thinking that they have no truth to them? but have been repeated and again and again until they feel true. Beliefs are always limiting. Everything that is a product of thought is limiting. This must be because thoughts are limited themselves. And it's difficult to explain this. But when you look at this tree here, then when I see the tree and thoughts arise, oh, this is a, I don't know, I don't have botanical knowledge. Whatever the thought would say, if I had, and it would tell me this is this kind of tree and it can go grow this tall, then these are very limiting because those are only the things that I know. But there is so many things I do not know. I hope this explains why thoughts are very limiting and therefore beliefs will be very limiting too. Because they are a product of thought. If you didn't have thoughts, you wouldn't believe. You would just see, you would just experience. We just look at the tree and not believe anything to be true or false about the tree or believe that it was created by God. This is all created by thought. I hope you can see that. So it's not about better beliefs or positive beliefs or not believing wrong things or to improve yourself, have positive beliefs about yourself so that you may become successful. And I don't say these things don't work, but if they do, they only work temporarily. Why is this so? You may say, well, it helped me when I started to think positively about myself. I reached more success. I became stronger. I, went, I was more motivated. So I went to the gym more often. I became healthier. These are true, right? So why would I stop if they helped me? To that, I would say, you would, don't stop. I'm not saying you should do anything or shouldn't do anything that you shouldn't believe, that you should believe. I'm simply trying to find the truth about my own thoughts. And the serious person recognizes truth when he hears it. The serious person feels it and can't ignore it. This person doesn't need to be convinced. This person automatically filters out the absolute undeniable truth. He or she is allergic to people who try to preach or convince them of something. This is me. And this is the only person I wish to converse with. This is the only person who is serious in a world full of clowns. And I say that with all respect, but it is that 99% of the successful people are not serious. Whether they are famous athletes, top founders, or wealthy artists, very, very, very few people are serious. And this is only sad to the person who thinks he or she needs other people. But realize this for what it is. This is hope, my friend. Hope is a prison, invisible to the hoper. And all these successful people, they're all controlled by their thoughts. Most of them, some maybe less than others. Anyone hears this inner voice all day, isn't it? They're all subject to societal standards or best practices, but the successful people sometimes find their own way, this is true, but they still feel stress, they still feel anxious, they still feel fear, they still feel all of these bad emotions, all of these negative emotions. They never reach a state of fluent peace. And I'm not saying you should, but that is something I'm interested in. And that's naturally what I'm looking for and will be talking about. And could it be that also the successful people want this, that you also desire this? Only if you could see clearly that this was the solution to all of your problems in life. So if you have become aware of the prison, you live in this prison of the mind if you became aware of this problem. And I don't say problems, I say this one problem. And do not want to escape this prison. You do not want to solve this one problem. 
more so than anything else in your life, then stop watching here. That's not sarcastic. Just unsubscribe also. Why is this so? Because you're basically wasting your time, right? Because you will be far better off reaching holy books or getting rich quick books or self-help videos. Because those things can give you what you want. I can't. So to the serious person who is still here and may see, just start to see that solving this human mind may be the only problem there is. And if he is able to solve it, that he is able to solve all of his problems. To that person, I'm talking. So if you feel like it, you may email me or, well, comment, but that's less private. I'm not sure if you want so. But yeah, you can always email me or DM me on socials. This is the person who's like me and thus only finds value in my writings, in my videos. So if you come this far, I assume you found value in my words, which implies you hold some seriousness inside of you, even though you may not see it yet. So what is the truth about beliefs? What are the consequences of subscribing to any beliefs, religious or not? The act of subscribing to beliefs means you are accepting them as truth without examining or questioning them, right? And this will limit your ability to find the truth and is exactly the truth that will set you free, that will solve your problems. You see this? And as I like to say, the three most powerful words are, I don't know. And what if the truth is the thing you've been looking for your whole adult life? And with truth, I mean everything. The truth about your problems, the truth about your questions, the truth about the things you don't even see are beliefs, but are actually beliefs and not true. What if it is this truth that you're looking for? And what if truth can't be explained through words for it will be just a product of my mind and therefore always limiting? What if truth is felt? You may remove the what if in all of the things I just said. May you see through all of the questions I posed in this video by questioning yourself. Talk soon. Now here's my poem about the essence of this video. Religion offers comfort and a sense of belonging too. But is it truth or just a way to keep our doubts from coming through? Truth can be found in holy books or words from those who preach. But to find the deepest truth, we must go beyond their reach. For sacred texts and sermons grant are crafted by the human heart. And though they may contain some light, they are filtered through the human side to find a truth that sets you free. A truth that is felt, not learned or seen in the quest to find what's real. The truth alone can only heal. And if you want to know more of what I mean when I talk about the mind, you may watch this video next. And if you prefer to read my letters before I share them anywhere in a video format, you can always find them on my website, linked in the show notes below. Talk soon.